The greatest service one can do is um, when I'm hungry, you give me to eat. When I'm thirsty, you give me to drink. When I'm alone, you visit me, you hold my hand. When I'm in prison, you, you help me out. You know, direct services. I believe that, that if I had answered that question um, at different stages of life, maybe different answers. Or at another stage in my life, I would have said, well, no, it's to get into picket lines, it's to, it's to ask the systemic questions and, and to the greatest service it can be a, a non-violent resistance to forms of oppression that infiltrate culture because of the vastness of egoic survival consciousness out there. Dog eat dog. Everyone for themselves. So I would have said maybe it's uh, uh, justice, systemic justice. Or I could have gone with the wonderful Jewish tradition from one of the Jewish teachers where they talk about mitzvahs, mitz mitzvahs, the charity acts, and they go through a list. And the last and the greatest service that one can do is to help one get on their own feet. So rather than feed them food or feed them fish, you teach them to fish. And you actually pay for them to go to a fishing school so that they can learn how to pay, how to fish. So it's a, it's a third kind of one. It's not direct services. It's not systemic justice. It's this mitzvah of, of you know, helping somebody get on their feet so that they can be self-sufficient. That's considered to be a great service. In fact, in that list that's given, I forget who the author is, it was one of the Jewish philosophers who came up with this list, and that's the most beautiful for him, helping another get on their feet. But now I think I might say a different one. I might say that the greatest service is to, to be present to another human being, not to change them, not even to, change, not even to desire to change their consciousness, but to kind of get to know them, to listen to them. The great service of presence, I think, is a very beautiful one for me now. Uh, not that I don't like helping people get on their feet, I just was doing that with someone else here. But, but that one to me is, um, is, a, is, is, is a wonderful place to be present. Not to change them, but to help them understand that they're more beautiful than they can imagine. You know, that it's, that there's a beauty Paul Ricoeur comes to mind now, he just entered. He has a great phrase in one of his books on forgiveness. He says, Quoi que tu aies fait, tu vaut mieux que tes actes. No matter what you've done, you're more, you're more valuable than your actions. No matter what we've done, we're worth more. We're worth more than our actions. That's the translation. Tu vaut mieux. You are worth more than your actions. And to sit with someone and to listen, to be present, and to help them to come to listening to themselves and perhaps coming to the awareness that no matter what they've done, they're, more, they're worth more than their actions. They're more beautiful than they can imagine. That, I think, is the greatest service for me right now. The others are important, too.